So as you take a look at this, I'm going to kind of start it and sneak it right in on here. Here's just a vertical segment. And again, trying to keep these lines, just keep them parallel to start off with. And that'll give you the at least the beginning section of it. I'm going to kind of incorporate it on these drawings here. So it gives me that line to it. And there, these lines being parallel, and this front facade coming down builds that section up. Okay, so once you get the base of at least the body of it drawn out, the rest of it kind of falls into place. <clears throat> it doesn't matter which one you draw, but just kind of showing you that segment to it. The parts that have these prongs are coming out. And that's a parallel, everything parallel for starters. And wherever this ends, I'm going to extend it out a little bit. This drops down to hit the other piece and goes back as well. So kind of fits right into that. So as long as you can make those connections, it makes it a little bit easier to draw out. Parts are clipped off on the edges. There's an elliptical shape. Kind of extended edges on this one. So just as you bring that across, that brings that section right out there. And you can exaggerate a little bit. This has the thickness to it. Curves it here. So these are all kind of curved as you go through them. And this kind of has a central piece of molded plastic. So anything that you think that has been manufactured, uh, man-made type things are all easily prototyped and made. And it builds up onto that, that edge there. So that gives you that part of the plug there. And again, there's a thickness to this. <clears throat> Once you get the first piece set up, then you're all set. Then you can go back in and start to um, illustrate at least the sides to it. And again, I, you don't have to use a straight edge, but it's kind of a quick way to, to build this up. So here's the straight line. Here's the thickness of this. And it builds itself up. Let's see if I can set it in here a little bit for you. <clears throat> okay. So any of these parts, here's the thickness, the isometric part is going to drop it down straight through it, kind of building that section up. And then taking a look at how this is constructed down here with the curve. So I can just go through and kind of give everything a little bit heavier outline to it. Builds that up just to get it started before I start to shade this, this curve line here, so I'm going to double that up. Any vertical pieces. And again, these parallel lines just make this a whole lot easier to illustrate. So build that piece up there. So there it is kind of laid out, and then just taking a look at the way it's shaded <clears throat> on this part, you can just do the same thing, kind of building that. Since the overall value of this is a gray piece, I'm just going with some of the lines with the form. And that just exaggerates the overall look of the object. And also remember, you can butt it up this way. And go dark to light. And build these pieces together here. <clears throat> so once you get it set up, find your 
delineation of it all, and then go back and start to, to illustrate it in there. Oh, no. And the curves and that type of thing. And once you get it, you can go back in with your heavier darks. And make these as you know a little larger than the actual size, this plug size that you've seen. See how you do. See how you do give it a try. This is some solid pieces down here. Can show some reflections inside of it there. So that's just kind of the beginning part of it, and I'll add some more to it. <laughs> 